the third fastest in history. And this is where she's so good, so strong. How quick can she go here? Femke Bolt in lane five. Away first time. Rochelle Clayton just taking maybe half a metre out of ball, but all ball already into her running and rising just about all together. Everybody down the back straight. Clayton still just giving ball something to work off down the back there. Ball now just edging ahead. That tall, elegant figure doing what she does best. And it's the second part of the race that she always seems to excel in. Concentrating on that stride pattern, trying to hope it'll carry her through to a quick time here. And now she starts to forge ahead. Clayton's trying to go with her. Anna Hall on the outside, still going very well indeed. Clayton just starting to look a little ragged now. Ball still maintaining the stride pattern. Can she do it over the last two barriers? And she changed down there. So Fenka Ball though, one more to go and then she'll work hard off the last one. Trying to chase this down. Can she get close to 52 seconds or under? Oh, almost. 52-29. And your third win here at uh, Bislett uh, in a row. How do, how do you feel about uh, this stadium? Yeah, pretty amazing. I mean, I love this stadium. You can hear the crowd now already. It's just so amazing. And that we also have great circumstances this year. Makes it even better. We talked before the race uh, about you changing your, your steps uh, in, uh, recently. Uh, how did you feel about that today? Today I had a good execution, I could keep it to a hurdle seven like I wanted, a bit better than Florence already, so I'm happy but I hear from my coach if it's really that good. <laughs>'night started pretty quickly, took a half a yard, maybe a metre out, out from uh, Femke Ball to the first hurdle, but the two of them just about rising together, and Femke Ball always builds nicely into a race, and by now down the back straight, she's already starting to just move away from the others. Also going well is Rizkova, who tried to chase her home last year in lane four, but it's Femke Ball who really has attacked this through the first 200 metres. That speed which she showed at the National Champs last week being put to good use here. Now it's all about bringing this home, good stride pattern, she just changes down and then Femke Ball just continues to move away from the others. Rochelle Clayton having a good race out in lane seven as well. But look at this, Femke Ball is miles ahead. It's going to be her against the clock here. The, the crowd know how good she is, know how quick she ran here last year. Stumble off that last hurdle, just going to lose a little bit. But Femke Ball, watch the clock here. It's 52-27. Congratulations, a meeting record again and also a Diamond League record. What do you feel about your performance? I'm really happy. I mean, I love this stadium. Last year was amazing and I really wanted to make it something special again. Last one before Eugene. And I'm so happy that I can win this race like this. I think it was a good race, but not perfect or anything. And then this time, is, I'm really happy. We turn our attention on a beautiful evening here in Brussels to the women's 400 meters hurdles and center stage one world champion named Femke Ball. And Femke Ball at the London Diamond League ran a massive personal best by 0.6 seconds. She looked a bit tentative in Budapest for me, perhaps after that fall and the mixed four by four. But Femke Ball at the moment, just running in the middle of the pack here. We're seeing some big moves from Knight, Andrea Knight of Jamaica. This is how she's run sometimes on the circuit. She's tearing down the inside lanes. It's good moves from Rochelle Clayton as well, the bronze medalist from Budapest. But here goes Femke Bowl. That was a bit of a rough hurdle there from Femke Bowl. She's had a new stride pattern this season, 14 strides. Sounds easy on paper, but it means you need to be competent on both lead legs. And now Femke Bowl, the world champion, starts to separate herself from three strong Jamaicans behind. But it's Femke Bowl with one hurdle left. She clears it smoothly. She powers away from the rest of the field. She's miles ahead of the green light, the wave light technology. That means it is a new meeting record. 52-11, breaking the mark that's 25 years old. Femke, big congratulation, a new meeting record and the fifth win in the Diamond League this year. What do you say about your performance here tonight? Oh, I'm super happy. I mean, it's my second best performance in the Diamond League this year and uh, my third fastest time, so I'm super happy about this. And uh, the stadium was amazing, the crowd was amazing. It was like uh, being at home. 
Yeah, we have to start like there. It's no secret you're a big fan favorite here. What do you say about uh, the crowd and the atmosphere here tonight? It's amazing. Already in the garden, you could hear the crowd, you could hear the music. Uh, they're doing such a great, great thing with this, and it's amazing. And to have such a fast track, and especially to have this crowd help you the last 100 at the end of the season, you get a bit more tired, so it helps extra much, and it was amazing. Well, it's been well documented about ball moving to 17 strides this uh, season and she's used it to great effect. Has she got one more fast one in her legs here? She, I mean, a little started very, very quickly. The American, as she always does, an outsider, Rochelle Clayton, has gone away. So Femke Ball always finishes quickly, always finishes strongly, but normally would just be another yard or two, I would have thought of at this point. But Shamir Little going well. Now Femke Ball just starting to stretch around that top bend as the two of them move past Rochelle Clayton. And Shamir Little has got an advantage here. The American taking it to Femke Ball on a home track, but Ball, as we come to the penultimate barrier, just gets half a metre, and this is where she's so good, so strong, so consistent. Femke Ball striding away at the end. Let's just have a look at the clock. It's going to be pretty quick. 51.98. A new meeting record. So how important is it to uh, claim the diamond yet again? I mean, it's always important. On the one hand, I became world champion, so it's like, I have what I want, but I think this is one of the biggest meets outside of the tournament, so to win this also is really nice. And it's my third one, so I like this week. <laughs> and now it's time for a break. So what will you be doing during the off-season break? Uh, I will be going to Mexico for holiday and just enjoy the beach and do nothing together with my boyfriend, so uh, this will be nice. <laughs> But Femke Boll here with a chance, incidentally, competing here for the first time in London at this famous stadium. Well, the meeting record, 52-79, Phyllis Carter has stood since 2011. And uh, Femke Boll has gone off like a train. She's having to alternate left leg, right leg. You can see already up on the shoulder and passing Jessie Knight to her right. Now she's got clear daylight, just Jenna Woodruff for company. Shamir Little also going well, but Femke Bon is really pouring it on here. Coming into the home straight, less than 200 to go. Little stutter there, Jesse Knight is in pursuit. Shamir Little and Geneve Russell, but they've been left apart, flailing behind. It's a race for second place. Femke Bon striding towards the line. Let's keep an eye on the clock. Penultimate barrier is safely negotiated. One more to go. Can she get over it neatly? Yes, she can. Nice and clean, now it's lights out for the line. Keep an eye on the clock, 51.45. The fastest time in the world this year. And 51.45 is the third fastest in history. What a way to start in London. A European record, all the lights on our computers are going crazy. It's like a Christmas tree. Femke, 51.45, how does that feel? Ah, oh, wow. I cannot believe it yet, but amazing. It's a, it's a record, it's a Diamond League record, it's a world lead, it's, a, I mean, amazing. Did you expect this? Uh, I mean, I felt I was in good shape and it's really been a dream to compete in this stadium, so I hope it could be magical. And well, I guess we are a good match. <laughs> Did you, you hope to, for it to be magical? Was it magical? Uh, was it that feeling out there? Yeah, I mean, I've never been in such a huge stadium field and it's been so amazing and the crowd was so nice it helped me so much through the race and uh, yeah i was hoping for this 51 for long and then to run 51.4 it's amazing that's amazing and it's a european record and it's the third fastest time uh, ever only sydney mclaughlin ran faster two times uh, a good feeling going into the world championship yeah i'm feeling great and uh, i did some training now this competition and uh, now we're going to work on what can go better. I'm not sure what can go better, but my coach will always find something.